Alright, so we've made it to our hotel, finally. I wanted to show you guys really quickly. Let's check it out. There we are. Cool little space, got two beds. European bathroom, kinda very different from American style. Got an awesome view. Pretty much it. Um, oh, I'm so tired. We're gonna probably take a nap and then head out to a bar in a little bit here. So, uh, see you guys later. Bye. It's going. Mm -hmm. Make it zazzy. Make it fucking zazzy. It's black. Yeah. Alright, what's up guys? It's day, it's day two here. Hey guys, how's it going? It's day two here. Uh, we didn't go out last night because we were a bit tired from the jet lag and we're starting a little bit late today because of the jet lag. So, um, uh, yeah, just kind of warming up before we head out. Go check out some places. But for now, Let's check out me practicing, <laughs> all right? Kind of hard to play with the GoPro, and I realized I haven't really practiced standing up, so uh, kind of practicing that. All right, so I just got done practicing. Now we're gonna head out. Um, I think there's a cool pizza place down the street. And then uh, somebody on Facebook wanted to meet up at a record store, so that sounded pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. So we first decided to check out this awesome pizza place called Barbarossa and uh, all the locals are pretty much saying you had to go there and they were totally right. For five euros you seriously could not get a better pizza. I mean look how big this thing is. It didn't even fit on the damn plate and uh, it was really good. I mean I think we had pizza literally every day and uh, yeah look at that fat face light up. And uh, yeah this is a picture from my Instagram. Feel free to follow me. Uh, this, is, uh, this is normal speed. It's not sped up at all. <laughs> so yeah, we scarfed that down, then we decided to head over to a record store to meet up with my friend E2 and uh, his friend Julius. And they wanted to show us this place. It was really cool, such a really good metal selection. And uh, right away we see, we find the Sabaton record, which as some of you may know, have become a huge fan just of recent. And uh, find the Skeleton Witch record. This one's a really good album. Uh, this is another one that you really wouldn't find in a record store where I'm from. And uh, Alice pretty much finds the gem here with the uh, Kalma record. And uh, I really wanted to get this thing. I'm a big fan of Kalma, I love the new record. Uh, but for 35 euros, it was a little steep, as some of you may know. I'm on a but I was pretty much on a budget for this trip. And uh, yeah, but uh, again, still super cool to see. And uh, lastly, we have the Dream Theater Scenes from a Memory record. And this is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, I plan to do a top 10 albums video, and you can definitely expect to see this one in there. And then get a picture. Uh, you too and Julius, again, super, super cool guys. And uh, yeah, then we decide to check out the harbor. And again, I mean, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Definitely go to Finland if you ever get a chance.
Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's day three today at Helsinki. Tonight we're gonna go out and meet with some of the hunter guitars from Hell, uh, the other guys basically, and uh, get a drink, so that should be pretty fun. Let's do it. Do, 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 do it. So before we met up with anybody, we decided to get a quick bite to eat over at this place called O'Leary's. Uh, now I know they don't serve any Finnish food, but uh, I saw hockey in the window and I could not resist. So we decided to eat here. Uh, we get a burger and a fry and it's actually really, really good. After we finish eating, we then end up meeting Connor and Chris. So I've been talking with Chris on Facebook even before this trip had happened, and he's a really cool guy. And Connor as well, we end up hanging out with them for a majority of this trip, as you'll see throughout this vlog. And right away we decided to uh, take this party elsewhere and head to the infamous Parkle, Finland. And uh, this was just a really, really cool bar. I mean, they were playing metal just the entire time. Awesome staff, uh, just an overall really great atmosphere. And yeah, right in the middle of the first round, we end up running into Sungwoo and Yaska. Actually kind of a crazy story, uh, they weren't here for the 100 Guitars from Hell event. They were here on vacation from Boston and some Wu happened to know me from my YouTube video so I thought that was really really cool. And uh, yeah, we, you know, he was a fan before the trip and I'm really happy to say that uh, we're good friends afterwards. Uh, you'll see a lot of them throughout this vlog as well. Uh, you also get to see me jam a little bit with them uh, in a little bit here. And uh, yeah, we end up getting some shots, have some drinks, you know, just chill out, talk some bands, metal, guitar, you know, typical, typical guitar nerd stuff. And uh, it was really cool to meet some of the guys from the group. Uh, just kind of helped take off the, you know, the edge, a little bit of the nerves that were coming from uh, wondering what rehearsals were going to be like and stuff like that. So it was really nice. It's day four today. Um, Basically last night was awesome, got to hang out with some people and uh, I'm gonna actually meet up with some of them at a music store, so let's go. So the time has finally come. It's time to head to rehearsals. Uh, feeling pretty excited at this moment. Uh, thankfully, Yasuko was there to show me the way. Uh, I would have never made it. And uh, yeah, you know, right away, we end up running into the uh, Finnish Olympian long jumper, Tommy, who happened to be a really, really cool dude. And yeah, you know, a lot of people happen to know me from YouTube, which was awesome because, uh, you know, I know we're all there for the 100 Guitars from Hell event, but it was still really nice to see that people knew of my work. So I thought that was pretty cool. After some brief introductions, we're then shown where we're gonna put our gear and begin uh, the rehearsals. So we go into this weird underground dungeony type area. Uh, it's pretty hectic, as you can see. It's just a ton of people, but uh, real nice secure place to put our gear. Get in this nice big line. 
I kind of wish I got in the front. I did not know this was going to be where we stood for the show, but uh, I still got a pretty good spot. And yeah, here's some of the gear. Uh, I do a full walkthrough a little bit later. And yeah, look at me. I got my water bottle. I'm all ready to go. Like, show me where to stand. I'm like, stand here. I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. And uh, yeah, basically the rehearsal begins. break I decided to go through a quick walkthrough of some of the gear and uh, some of it's pretty cool here's uh, Alexi's and Auntie's gear got some Marshall JVM's pretty cool stuff we got the uh, Eclipse nice Alexi model uh, I don't know what the hell that is never seen that before there's a nice organized pedal board not sure who they are but uh, still uh, here's some of the gear. It's pretty cool seeing all the guitars laid out. Got a nice dual rack here. Makes nice, everybody loves those. Uh, and this thing, I have literally no idea what piece of gear in any of this was. I literally have no idea. Look at that. Look at this thing. Probably just calls aliens or something. And this is Key as gear. He was our group leader. He uh, he had really good tone. And uh, here's a little bit of Yaska's drum set was actually pretty cool in person. Uh, it was all black and uh, very metal. Very cool. Here's Yanni's keyboard. This is Connor. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, after rehearsals, a bunch of the guys decided to get together and go out uh, to this one bar called On The Rocks. It was pretty awesome because they had a full backline set up for an open mic, so pretty much a perfect place for 100 guitarists. Next time on... Yeah. Yeah.